information. Hey everybody, this is Mitch from Boardco. I am here giving you a rundown on Trevor Maurer's new signature wakeboard from Hyperlite, the Blueprint for 2020. Um, we want to talk to you about a few of the things we really liked about this board, had a chance to take it out and take it for a spin, and we really enjoy it. Um, first off, Trevor Maurer, the pro model writer of this, he is known as being the one of the most stylish, uh, most technically uh, stylistic wakeboarders out there he just has some super cool smooth style he's super fun to watch on a wakeboard but he has a really great free ride style with how he rides and this board it really shows with how this board rides and performs so I want to talk to you a little bit about it and see if it's the right kind of mix for what you might want in a wakeboard so first thing um, I just kind of the first thing when you take a look at the graphic is absolutely killer it's a, a blend of kind of matte and gloss um, it's a, actually a look of the top of the water of the um, Delta in California um, that you can see this imprinted over the top of the board but it just looks killer especially when you take it out in the Sun it looks really good next thing talking about it there's a few really cool characteristics on this board the first one is with the way that they've been able to cut to design and shape wakeboards that Hyperlite uses with their new uh, construction profile, they've been able to take a lot of the thickness out of the profile of the board, making it thinner and also in, t in that regard making it lighter. That's going to make it so that the board has less swing weight, it's going to be easier to move around under your feet, it's going to feel lighter, which allows you also to be able to ride a larger board. So this board right here is a 147. It's a lot bigger than a lot of people are used to, but um, I weigh 185 pounds. This is actually the size I'd personally be riding on. Um, Trevor himself, he's not a super giant guy. Um, he rides a 147 as well. Um, so this board comes in a 143 and a 147. But you don't need to be afraid of riding it bigger because it's thinner and lighter. So you don't have as much board to have to move around under your feet. By adding that additional size, what it's gonna do for you is it's gonna give you more pop coming off the wake, but it's also gonna give you smoother, softer landings. To aid in the smoother, softer landings, this board has a really heavily exaggerated double concave um, with a center spine. What that means is there's two tunnels that run through the board, right here and right here with a big bump running through the center. That big bump, that spine is going to split water as you come in on landings, it's gonna make your landings much softer. It's one of the softest landing boards we've ever ridden. Um, but those two dual concaves are gonna give the board a little bit more traction as it's coming into the wake. So you're gonna have a little more stability as you come into the wake, but it's also going to allow the board to break free and maneuver easier than having like big ridge channels running on the bottom. So it's still a pretty smooth, um, simple design on the bottom of the board, but just with enough traction so that when you edge into the wake, you'll get just enough bite to where you'll be stable and be able to take off of the wake smooth. You also have a blended rocker profile on this board that's gonna be really smooth coming off of the wake that is not going to be, it's not gonna give you a really super hard buck coming off the top, nor is it going to be something that doesn't pop well at all. So it's gonna be kind of nice in the middle, but it's gonna be really controlled. Trevor is known for liking to take uh, big poked out grabs and other stylish moves, and this board is designed to give him maximum hang time, but also maximum control coming off of the wake. If you're wanting to go just the biggest out there and, and rail into a wake super hard, this isn't necessarily the board for you. But if you like to take a smooth, mellow cut approaching into the wake, blast off and be able to have really nice control for moves, and for grabs, spins, whatever else you want to do, this board is right up your alley. It's also got a dished out nose and tail profile, so it means it's got a big cup here in the nose. That's going to give it just a little bit more suction and stability as it comes in, but keeps uh, keeps it out of the water when you're butting around um, on the flat water. So it's going to be maneuverable and loose when it's on flat water, but when you go to, when you edge into the wake, it's going to bite it's going to give you enough stability and enough bite so that you can take off do what you want to do and then come down and land so smooth buttery flowing style with enough pop to do what you want it to do that's kind of the name of the game when it comes to the blueprint so um, like I said you can size this board up go with a size that's a little bit bigger than what you're used to we promise you you'll like it especially with how lightweight and how 
uh, just how awesome this board is. So if you have any questions at all, don't, feel, don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email. We're more than happy to help. Also, if you're a little worried about getting a board that, um, like this one, scared that you're not going to like it, especially because of the size, that's okay. Um, don't, don't forget we have a performance guarantee on everything that we carry, including the blueprint board. So if you don't like it, you can take it out, write it, and send it back to us if it's not necessarily your cup of tea or something you don't enjoy. But we think you really enjoy it. It's been a blast for us to ride. Um, and a board, if you like that smooth, flowy style, it's right up your alley. So let us know how we can help you out. Check out more information on boardco.com, and we'll talk to you later.